Hi, welcome to the first lecture of this course. In this video, I will go over initial side, terminal side, vertex, co-terminal side. I will introduce the radian degree measure and how to convert to radians to degrees and degrees to radians. I will also convert an angle measure to decimal degrees and convert each angle measure to DMS or degree minute seconds. Finally, I will finish up with a word problem involving arc length. Okay, so let's first talk about angles. In trigonometry, we have what's called a vertex, initial side, terminal side, term, um, <laughs> terminal side, that should be once, and then co-terminal side. So here, this is what typical um, unit circle. Um, so this is the initial side, and do you see that this arc length? is called your um yeah this is called your um theta your arc length so yeah so this is initial side terminal side and then this little dot here is that that's your starting point that's called your vertex um now let's talk about initial and co-terminal so if you look on the second image um this little um arrow represents theta right this is called the initial side so Example would be like um, 30 degrees. That's your initial angle. And then your co-terminal side is the um, rest of the um, rest of the side. So the co-terminal is way larger than initial. And this is just an example. Um, if this is 30 degrees, what would be the co-terminal? So um, if this was, yeah, if this was 30 and then the co terminal would be um, how much would be 360 minus 30, which is 330 degrees. So the initial side would be 30 degrees and the co-terminal would be 330 degrees. This is just pretend. I, t I totally made this up, but if that if you wanted to find the co-terminal, just remember that going around in the unit circle is a unit circle is 360. Okay. Um, in trig, in trig you will have um, will have two types of angles. It can be measured in degrees or radians. For example, theta can be measured in 30 degrees or pi over six. Um, yeah. I on the next lecture we will go over the unit circle. So, and in the unit circle you have what's what it's called um, degrees or radians. And so like right here, theta, and this can be any kind of symbol. This is just a Greek symbol. This Greek symbol is theta and it just represents how big that angle is. So it's in degree, let's say it was 30 degrees. And in radians, you have, you have pi over six. I know that sounds weird. Pi over six is still technically a measurement. So if you actually put it in a calculator, like pi over six, that's about 0 0.5. So these are pretty much the same thing. It's just that one is in degree and one is in radians. And then I will talk about how to convert from radians to degrees and then degrees to radians. It's pretty simple. So yes, now we're talking about conversion between degrees and radians. So to convert degrees to radians, multiply the degree by pi radians over 180. So let's, let me show you an example. Let's say you had 30 degrees and you want to convert that to radians. So what you have to do is convert, you would have to multiply 30 times pi over 180. Now, um, do not replace pi, this pi right here with 180. It's just pi, which is about 3.14. When you sum, multiply them across, because you're multiplying fractions, you multiply across, so 30 times pi is 30 pi. And then over here, this 30 has an invisible one. That would be one times 180, right? The zeros cancels, and then you're left with three pi over 18, which can be reduced by three. And that's how you get pi over six. So in 30, 30 degrees in radians form would be pi over six, okay? Um, step two, um, number to convert radians to degrees, multiply radians by 180 over pi radians. So let's 
Let me show you an example. So let's say you had a radiant measure, nine pi over two, and you want to convert it to degrees. So what you can do is multiply nine pi over two by 180 divided by pi. And as you can see, the pi's cancels. So you're left with nine times 180 on the numerator, which is 1620. And then on the bottom, you're just left with two. So you're left with 810 degrees. There's actually a simpler way. I like this way better. Um, you see the pi? pi? You could just replace pi with 180. So if I did, if I did that nine times pi and just replace pi with 180, you get 1620 over two, which is 810 degrees. So honestly, I prefer this way better. <laughs> but either way works. Um, to convert angle measure to decimal degree form. So let's say you are given a degree uh, uh, of a degree, and then you have a um, degree of uh, minutes and seconds. So this little, this little um, line means rep represents minutes, and then these two lines represent seconds. So how do you convert that to, um, to degree form? So let's start with the degree 85. It is just 85, so you don't have to deal with anything with that. Then you're going to plus eight, the, the minutes. The eight, in our case, our minutes is 18. You're going to divide that by 60 because there was like 60, there's like 60 minutes. And then you're going to um, plus the 30 represents seconds. So you're going to divide. 30 by 3,600, right? And then what you have to do is put everything in the calculator. So put it exactly like this, 85 plus 18 over 60 plus 30, plus 30 over 3,600, you would get 85 degrees and 85.308, okay? I round it to three decimal places. So that's all you have to do, just the degree stays the same. The minutes, in our case is 18, you divide that by 60 plus, then seconds, which you divide, in our case is 30, and you divide that by 3,600, and then you buy them all up. Pretty simple. Okay, now let's say you had, um, let's say you were given um, deg degree, convert angle measures to degrees, minutes, per, and per second. So let's say you had this, um, let's say you had negative 3.58 degrees. We wanna convert that to degrees, minutes, seconds, degrees, minutes, seconds, or DMS. So, well, first off, the, the, de first, the degree is negative three, so that's why I put negative three degrees. Now let's figure out how do we find our, our minutes. So what you have to do is the, do you see the 0.58, the, the two, yeah, the decimal place, 0.58? What you're gonna do is multiply that 0.58 by 60, and you get 34.8, so, but the, um, the eight doesn't really matter. It's the 34 we cares about. What we care about the most because that will be your minutes. So that's how we get 34 minutes. See, that's why I put 34 minutes here. And to find your um, seconds, what you do is you know, multiply the um, your leftover decimal. So in our case, it was 0.8. And then you're going to times that by 60. And that gives us exactly 288, which is nice. It's a whole number. So, so our final answer is negative three degrees, 34 minutes and 288 seconds. Okay, it's not too bad. Now, finally, let's do um, a word problem. So we're gonna find arc length. So first off, before we start, let's look at this image right here. Um, the second picture on the right, you have a circle and then you have a radius, and then you have a theta, and then this line right here represents arc length. So arc length is the formula given S equals R times theta. So let's say you had a circle with a radius of four inches. Find the length of the arc intercepted, intercepted by the central angle of 240 degrees. So what we're essentially doing is trying to find this length, this arc length right here. So what we were given is that it's um, theta is 240 degrees and the radius is four inches, right? So how do you find the arc length? So you're finding this length right here. 
So let's what let's look at what we know. So our radius is exactly four, four inches. And then our theta, our angle is 240 degrees. But usually for theta, um, for you want to convert that convert that to radians. So you're going to multiply 240 by we're going to convert degrees to radians. So to convert degrees and radians, you're going to multiply 240 by pi over 180. And then that gives you 4 pi over 3. So remember, arc length is s equals radius times theta. So radius is 4, and our theta is 4 pi over 3. And when you simplify it, you get 16 pi over 3. And in decimals, it's about 16.76 inches. Okay, so that wraps it up for this lecture.